Hello guys, welcome to IPCS Automation and today we are going to discuss about the different types of communication protocols in industrial automation. So let's discuss what is a protocol. Protocol means it's a command or that could be a rule. A rule to exchange data, that is a communication protocol. That means if you want to transfer a data from a computer to a VLC or a PLC to a peripheral device like HMI or a VFD, we have to use this kind of rule to exchange the data. That is called a protocol or a communication protocol. The first communication PLC communication protocol we are going to learn which is RS232 or RS232 serial communication protocol. In this, there comes with a positive, negative and a ground or else we have a plus, minus and a ground. In this, the data is transferred in the binary format which is transferred or transmitted through ASCII format. This is called the RS232. It consists of a plus and minus. We do have minus 12 volt and a plus 12 volt. The plus 12 volt is transmitted as zero and the minus 12 volt is transmitted as one. In this RS232, we do have only end-to-end -end connection. That means we can only connect one device to another for first time. We cannot connect multiple devices in the RS232. The very next protocol we are using which is RS485 similar to RS232 but it is not RS232 it's also a serial communication but it is not RS232 we have different that RS232 has only one end-to-end -end connection that means one device can be connected to another one but in RS485 or else we could call it as small bus or whatever in RS485 we can connect multiple devices at the same time that means we can connect up to 32 slave devices with a PLC. That is RS485 communication protocols. And the cable length, it's most important topic that is the cable length. That could be up to 1200. That means one kilometer of cable we can transfer the data through the PLC to the peripherals. That is the cable management of RS485. And the very next advantage is if you are using the repeaters, we can increase the number of nodes or number of slaves that can be connected to the PLC and also increase the cable length also. That is the RS485. And next, we are going to the Modbus communication protocol or else called Modbus RTU or Modbus Remote Terminal Units. In this, it's developed by an architecture of master and slave. It's communicating with master with the slaves that means we have multiple slaves that can be controlled by a master means for example we do have five vfds and those vfd start and stop and the speed has been controlled by one plc that's called master and the node guys or else called the vfds are called the slaves or else the slaves will accept the command and master will give the command or provide the command that is a Modbus RTU protocol and in this it is the data is transferred with the RS485 or true wire communication protocol. Okay, the master slave architecture of the Modbus which is developed by Modicon, that means the Modicon is the first company who invented the PLC. So that's called, their protocol is called Modbus. That means that protocol is too much earlier. It was invented in the earlier times of automation. And now it's acquired by Schneider. That's all about the Modbus RI5. Next point I'm talking about, which is the Ethernet protocol or Ethernet TCP or IP protocol. The Ethernet or IP, first thing first. The IP stands for Inter Protocol or Internet Protocol. So in this, we do have multiple devices that can be connected to a computer. That means a device which is capable of the Ethernet link that could be connected to the multiple devices. So which is used, mainly used for connecting through Wi-Fi, a routing and multi-device, multi-level of accessing devices. That is called the Ethernet protocol. The TCP protocol which stands for Transfer Control Protocol. That means sending the optimum data and receiving and it has a receiving acknowledgement also. By sending a data, it gets the sender gets a receive, sender might receive an acknowledgement. That is called TCP protocol. Next protocol that will be hard protocol H A R T. That means highway addressable remote transducer protocol, which is used for end to end connection and also with a multi dot technology. The hard is mainly used in transmitters 
like documents, the hard protocol which is used for transferring or transmitting data to master to the transmitter like slaves. And in this hard, the communication protocol is happened or the communication is done by one thing that is FSK or frequency shift keying technology. That means with higher frequency that will give zero and with lower frequency that will give one. That is a zero and one. The binary algorithm is used for transferring data through hard protocol. And we can use multiple devices like master. We have two master, one will be PLC and another one will be a slave lighting or a field communication or handheld devices like Emos and field communication that is used for calibrating purpose. That is called hard communication protocol. The very next protocol we are going to learn which is a Profibus and Profinet. These two guys are brothers by Siemens. First thing first, we can talk about Profibus first. This is the serial communication protocol by Siemens. That is called Profibus cables. Or as I can't call it as Profibus cables, it's called Profibus. So in Siemens, oh, they are using the purple color cables for using or connecting the serial communication with RS485 through Profibus. So that is normally or literally it is a serial communication or RS485 communication. It does have two wires only plus and minus as like as a normal mode bus or the RS485 communication things. And it does have multi-drop access or the multi-drop technology that can be used for developing or communicating between two or more or to 32 devices simultaneously if you are using properly assigning the node addresses for these slave devices. That is called Profibus. It's very very simple to connect everything in between them. And next we are going to talk about the Profinet or Ethernet, industrial Ethernet I call it. So these two guys are brothers but first thing first, now the Profinet is exponentially growing in industries because it's the robust against crosstalk and everything's much so much so there's a lot of properties for the Profinet. So let's talk about first the Profinet. That means for the Profinet, we have an Ethernet port and we have an IP address and we have a MAC ID for the device. That's all we need to communicate through the Profinet. So we have a PLC that is capable of Ethernet or IP or the Profinet. We can connect a serial LAN cable, sorry, not a serial LAN cable, which will be a communication LAN cable. That's enough. Or the Profinet cable is available by Siemens. The green color cable we can see in the industry that is called Profinet cables. And the Profinet cables is only consists of four pair cables. One is transmit, receive, and for the acknowledgements. These are the Profinet cables. And we can also communicate through with the normal Ethernet cables. We can communicate with the PLC, PCs, HMIs, anything we want. That is a Profinet. And we do have some topologies in the Profinet to connect with the master and slaves. First thing, which is the ring topology, that means from a master, the slaves are connected in the form of a serial connection, that means a ring connection. And the very next thing that will be star connected, the master will be on the center and the slaves will be around them. That is the star topology. And the very flexed thing that will be the master slave topology. The PLC will be the master and the devices like things will be the slaves and that will be connected parallelly. That is called the master slave topology. The last protocol we are going to learn which is the interbus. Interbus means it's a communication protocol standardized by the European standards and the IEC standards which is used for communication through the control systems like PLCs, ECS and the robotic arms. This is the communication protocol which is used for transmitting to the transmitters, temperature transmitters, pressure transmitters like things and the topology which is used for communicating through the control system which is the ring topology. That is interbus. And the important things in the communication protocols which are the board rate, network length and the node address. First thing first, the board rate means the data transferring rate or the speed of the data transferring that is called the board rate. It's usually talked in the BPS or bits per second. So usually in the default mode we are using 9600 BPS and that's called the ball rate. And the very next thing which will be the network length that means the length of the network which are used. And the final thing which will be the node address that is slave address the number of slaves which are used 
by the network. These are the main things to remember by communication protocols in the PLC or the control systems. So guys, let's get finalized. So if someone asks me if which protocol is mainly used or which is a better one, I say it depends on your application and number of nodes and the network length. For example, for you can say that uh, I do have 32 networks, so I can use a simply RS485 and I do have multiple devices with Ethernet port, so I can choose it as Ethernet or IP protocol. So it depends on your application and number of nodes. So and the very last thing which will be the conclusion that means now currently we are using the widely used communication protocol which is the Ethernet and I can say that Ethernet is holding clutches all over the industries because of its robustness against the noise against and we can actually increase the number of ports we can connect up to 232 in a single channel with use we are using a bus or we are using a hub or anything else we can increase the number of the devices which are connected through the internet because we can actually increase the gateway addresses wherever we want and last thing we have to do which is the ethernet or ip and the last thing which will be the siemens ethernet protocol that is a profinet so now the profinet is the growth will be very 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 exponential that means it starts with a slightly curve and it's increasing exponentially that is the ethernet protocol so now in industries siemens is holding its own clutches very well and and also the ethernet protocol or the profinet protocol which is increasing day by day so you can choose your own protocol wisely thank you